factory where he made things to sell, strictly invent. Here in this laboratory, this building, Mr. Edison invented the very first motion picture camera and the projector. And he completed his inventions on the Edison storage battery, the Edison phonograph, the Edison machine, and others. Then he put them in production in his factory, which 12 years ago were standing on the empty lots around this laboratory. Well, all those buildings and factories have been demolished, except one. You probably noticed coming in that big factory on the corner on the building. Well, that building was the Edison Storage Battery Building. In fact, he had 4,000 people alone working in the Okay, now in 1931, some 53 years ago, Mr. Edison passed away, and this laboratory was closed. And I was hired by the National Park Service to restore and demonstrate a few of these machines. When I start, one of the big motors at the rear of the room on the platform, they're 40 horsepower DC motors, which will turn that main shaft along the wall and the ceiling the entire length of the shop. And that in turn will drive this counter shaft, which will allow this machine to run. Okay, now I'll start one of the motors and operate the machines. Now this machine is called a radial drill press. It's called radial drill press because this big arm pivots from the post. And of course it swings on a radius. That's how it gets the name. And this head slides up and down the arm, making it possible to relocate and drill holes a different position on your job or your work without moving the vise. You can also, with this drill press, drill holes on an angle by tilting this head, by turning this big gear, using this wrench. Now, I'll make this run for a minute and show you how it drills. Turn the 
turns very slowly because the machine uses big drills. Big drills have to turn slow. Little drills go fast. It's a safety precaution when drilling. the grinding machine. Okay, now this machine is called a universal grinding machine. It's called universal because it does two different types of grinding. It grinds the round part of a piece of steel such as in the machine now. That is called external grinding or cylindrical grinding. But it also can do internal grinding. I mean by that you could grind out the inside of a hole by changing the attachments laying there on the cabinet and you set them up in the machine. And it's a precision grinder in spite of its age. Most of these machines were installed in this laboratory when it was built in 1887. Now this is a grinding wheel, the same as in the machine now. And when the little children are here, they always ask, what are these red handles? They think they're jump ropes, but they're not there to put the machine on and off. And if you watch above, when I pull one down, the belt will go over to the other pulley, which will start the machine, then I'll let it take a light cut. Okay. Pull the other handle down and you go on the stop pulley, stop the machine. And that liquid you see is water and oil. And it's the oil that changes the color to what the little children think and ask me, is that milk? So I have to give them an answer and I tell them, there is no cow in that machine. They all give me a good laugh. Okay, thank you. And now you can follow your guide. 